you just got your brand new Quest 3 or Quest 2 and you're loving it and now you want to go to the next level and play those PC VR games like Half-Life Alyx, Skyrim and so on and so forth. No problem because this actually is a great PC VR headset as well. Now in this beginner tutorial I'm going to show you step by step what you have to do. Really everything from installing Steam, Steam VR and doing all the good stuff and I'm going to show you how Steam Link works works, the new software that well makes it super easy to play Steam VR games here with your Quest 3. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if you're excited about the Quest 3, the Quest 2 and virtual reality in general, then absolutely subscribe to this channel here and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything because, well, we're bringing you tutorials like this one here, reviews, games, all the good stuff. So absolutely subscribe. Let's get to it. First of all, you need Steam. Go to steampowered.com and download it. Click on install Steam. So Steam is the shop where you're going to get all the games, right? All the Steam VR games. So click on install Steam and it's going to download. So here it is, Steam setup. Click it and simply follow the installation instructions. I'm not going to show you that part. I'm sure you can do that yourself. Once you've installed it, this is what Steam looks like. There's the store, the library, community, and so on and so forth. Now, first of all, you need to install Steam VR. It's uh, like a free helper tool. And this is needed to play Steam VR games, right? The PC VR games. So go and install it. I have already installed it, but for you, you're going to click on install and again, follow all the instructions. Yeah, and then you can go to the store and buy games like Half-Life Alex, and you really should do it. I have already bought it, obviously, and I've played it a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, it is an amazing game. Go for it. And in your library, you will find it then there after you have um, bought it. And you see I have lots of games here. And you hopefully too in the future. And you should also get Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim in VR, it is so good. It is incredible. And if you want, you can even mod it to look better. Yeah, you should play Skyrim in VR. It is a completely different kind of ball game. And you're not going to find that in standalone very soon. So get it. All right. Now in your quest, go to the store and look for Steam Link. That is the new tool from Valve that will allow you to easily play the PC VR game. So there it is, Steam Link. Click on it. I have already downloaded it. So I can simply click on open, but you should click on install first <clears throat> and then open after you've installed it. And here it is. Steam Link is going to start for the first time. And here it is. Um, welcome to Steam Link. Get started. So now looking for your computer and your computer should be in the same network and your computer should be connected to the router via an Ethernet cable. That's really, really important. Right. Now you get the pairing number 2465 in my case. You go to your computer and enter exactly this number 2465 for me. Click on confirm and now the magic already happens. Oculus Quest 3 is launching Steam VR. So simple. It is really so, so simple. It's easier than Airlink for sure. All right. So now in your Quest, this is already Steam VR home. So cool. Yes, this is the environment where you can play uh, and find all the games. You can also change the environment, but this is the standard environment. And here are the PC VR games that you can start. Now, if you click on the menu button of your left controller, this is going to come up. This is the menu. And here you can go to the Steam VR home settings, for example, or you could see your desktop and play some 2D games, for example. But now go here and go to video settings. So there you can increase the resolution. So you don't want to increase the resolution for each game. Like here you could do it. But instead, you go to the video settings here. And here, 
you change the res resolution per eye and you increase it to something like this here, for example, 150%. But it really depends on your computer, how powerful it is, how high you can go. You can also simply go on, um, this is 90 hertz, by the way. You can simply go to auto and then it will automatically do all the good stuff. But yeah, you can play with that. Yes. So then you could check out your library here, for example, and see all of the games that you've bought. So probably you won't have as many as I have, but hopefully you have, hmm, what do you have? Boneworks is great for sure. Then also Skyrim, as I mentioned before, is fantastic. The forest is cool. And of course, Half-Life Alex. Click on it and click on play. And then the goodness starts. Yes, I've already here like shortened it a bit and here we are on the balcony and yes, you can play Half-Life Alex on your quest and it's going to be amazing. It is going to be so good. It's still one of the best, if not the best title in VR and everyone absolutely has to play it. And your Quest 2 and Quest 3, they are both really, really good PC VR headsets. And even wireless, even wireless, they will give you an amazing time in VR. So if you don't have a gaming PC yet, probably you can think about getting one. And you could get one for probably $600 and you'll have a great time. Yes. So go for it. Hopefully this was helpful for you. All right, so as you could tell, this was really easy and now you can play all these PC VR games. Yes, go for it. I really hope that th this video was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up and absolutely subscribe to this channel because, well, I'm bringing you tutorials like this one here. And also, don't forget to click on the bell button so that you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. All right, now I want to hear from you. Which games are you going to play now, now that you know how to play PC VR? Or do you first have to buy a gaming PC? Do let us know down in the comment section. Also, if you want to chat with me or the MRTV community, go to the MRTV Discord server. There you can also find all of these 25% discount codes to get those standalone games for 25% off. So it's absolutely worth it. That's everything that I got for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.